Morning, Morning riders. riders! Today is Thursday, March 12th, and it's a Hi there. Uh, this is your principal, Dr. Katie Parman. And I just want to talk to everyone a little bit today about the coronavirus. Um, as we learn more, I want to remind people the most important things that you can do right now are to wash your hands thoroughly, cough in your elbow, and if you have a fever, stay home. So as we remember these things and learn new information about the spread of the virus, we need to remember to be compassionate and thoughtful as we talk about this illness. Um, I wanna ask folks that you not joke about having the coronavirus because this is causing fear and uncertainty in our community. But most importantly, I wanna talk about our Asian students um, because they're reporting an increase in xenophobic and racist remarks and actions that are focused on them because of where the coronavirus started in the world. Um, it's being reported that students are hearing remarks in the hallways and in classrooms. And I wanna urge us all to stand in solidarity with and be active allies for our Asian students right now. This discrimination is not something that's um, isolated to Roosevelt because it's happening all over the world and in our country, but it's important that we ensure we're creating a safe space for our Asian students and families. And we do as much as possible to create a safe school environment for all of our students. Many students and staff have shared that they're upset by these remarks and have shared they aren't sure what to say. So we're working on that. And if you hear jokes or comments, just remind students that that type of racist talk is unacceptable. Saying something like, that's not cool, or we don't talk like that here, could be the first step in acknowledging that there's harm being done to some of our students. Um, APANO, which is an organization that focuses on um, our Asian population here in Oregon, posted something and I wanted to share part of it with you because I think it, it really en encompasses what I, what I think is important. Um, they said, as we face the serious challenges of the coronavirus, we urge our community to come together to combat misinformation with facts, to fight fear with compassion, and most of all, to care for those who need it the most at this moment. I appreciate our celebration of diversity here at Roosevelt. I know as riders, we can come together to be allies for all students, no matter their race, their ethnicity, their gender identity, sexual orientation, religion, or ability status. So thank you for being allies for our Asian students right now. We'll share more information about the coronavirus as it becomes available. Um, and thank you so much for being writers. Guess what, we're back. And you know what else is? Bring on the musical! It's happening March 12th and 13th at 7 p.m. And on Saturday, there's a special matinee. What time does it start, David? Just for you, it's starting at 2 p.m. You should come out and support, it's gonna be great. Students, Miss Ty here in Women's History Month, come see the display. And also, return materials. Seniors, you've got to return your materials. If you have things that are missing that are worth more than $50, we can withhold your diploma or your transcripts. So, you can check your account by signing into the library catalog, or you can go to school pay to see what you owe. If you have missing books, look for them, return them, if you can't find them, you have to make good of them, on them. So you can either buy used copies in excellent condition or pay for them all at once or make a payment plan that you finish paying it off between now and June. Now is the time. Do not wait. Check what's on your account. Thank What's up, you guys? I'm Rakai Perry, and I am the new Poetry Club coach uh, for this year's Versalandia. I competed my 2014-2015 year, and would like you guys to come and check it out. Hey, hey riders. riders! Do you have extra formal wear? If so, please feel free to donate to Roosevelt's leadership or the clothing closets. We're looking for more items for students to be able to wear during prom this year. It can be shoes, ties, dresses, anything that's related to formal. Thank you so much. When your legs don't oh my gosh, yeah! Priya! Oh, yeah. Make sure to send your prom posals to Ryder Connection so we can post them. Aww. Now, Riders, get out there and act with respect and integrity, embrace our diversity, empower yourself, and live with the result. In essence, you're Ryder!